Hi, this is Josh Ward running for the 2018 U.S. Senate seat against Elizabeth Warren here in Massachusetts. I want to talk to you all today, uh, but first I want to say I hope everyone had a great holiday. Uh, mine was fantastic. I got to spend time with the kids uh, all morning Sunday. Unfortunately, I had to go to work, but that was all right. I brought as much Christmas cheer as I could to the Sheriff's Department as well. So it was a great day, and uh, I hope you had some fun too. But let's talk uh, turkey here because... It's getting serious out there in the world. Right now, uh, Genie Energy, a company I've never heard of before, uh, and it has a ridiculous name, if you ask me, but it's actually run by Dick Cheney and Lord Jacob Rothschild, as well as James Woolsey, ex-CIA director. And they're using uh, the Israelis' illegal occupation of uh, the land in Syria, the Golan Heights, and they're using that land to steal the Syrians' oil. Now that they have used the United States to decimate the Syrian people and uh, funded the terrorists and organizations out there, now they're free to move in and steal all the oil they can from these people because not enough bad things have happened to the Syrian people because they stood on their own two feet and they weren't part of uh, the Rothschild cabal. And so now they're having everything stolen, taken. Uh, you know, at this point, I doubt they care too much about their oil and more about their very lives. But this is the problem with big oil. This is why we have to fight them. We have to resist big oil. You know, we have to make some serious changes by, you know, for one, fighting everything that Trump is for. Uh, he's Secretary of State is ex an Exxon Mobil employee, or uh, at least a person very well connected with them. And basically, our government is going to continue to be run by big oil under Trump. And we have to change that. We can no longer allow big oil to push all the buttons and control the way our country is going to go. Because it's not working. We're having droughts across the country. Uh, right now, I was watching a video from a scientist who was informing us that if the ice sheets in Greenland melt, all the ice sheets melt. We're talking about a 23-foot rise in sea levels. Uh, I don't know where you live along the coast, but where I live along the coast, even on the third floor of my house, my feet aren't going to be dry. So there's some serious problems with the, using big oil anymore. We have to fight past it. They're going to do everything they can to stop us. But we can make the difference. We can stop them from pushing over people in North Dakota. And even though Trump said he's going to allow... The North Dakota pipeline to be pushed through. He's going to continue to hurt the Native Americans, try to trick them into privatizing their lands. Uh, that way the big corporations can come in, just do whatever they want, just cut through the red tape and just destroy any whatever's left of Native American lands. We can no longer afford to allow big oil to simply push us around and control our country. We need to make changes, big changes. And we're going to do that by economically attacking them. We have to stop driving everywhere. If it's in walking distance, we got to walk it, bike it, hike it. Take advantage of the fact that you have two legs, okay? Uh, we have to start fighting against this, protesting. And there are people out there protesting and taking part, and I'm very proud of those people. And we have to keep working hard at it. Uh, some positive news, in Iowa, wind power taken off. And I, I was reading an article on that, and I'm very excited to say, 20% uh, of their power is now from wind power, and it's created tons of jobs. It's in other areas of uh, around Iowa. Not, they're not doing so well because they went without uh, installing wind turbines, and so they're hurting now. We can make a difference with these new technologies. We can create jobs. We can fight back against big oil, and we can make this difference. We can stop allowing big oil to run our country and to decimate countries elsewhere because they have something that they want. You know what? This isn't the world I want to live in. It's not the world I think you want to live in. We can make a difference. Now, as you know, I'm running for Congress here for the U.S. Senate against Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts. If you want to make your difference, if you're watching this video, you too can run for office. It doesn't take any special degrees. You know, you don't have to know anybody. All you got to do is you got to have a big heart and a head on your shoulders and you want to make a difference. If you want to make a difference, get out there and run. You know what? It's not about getting 3 or 4 or 5% and trying to make a good showing. 
we need to replace all of Congress in 2018 because only a new Congress will be able to stand up to Trump, be able to stand up to Mobile, BP, Exxon, Shell, all these companies, Genie Energy, controlled by the Rothschilds and Dick Cheney. They have to be stopped. They have to be stopped from using the United States military as a war machine to make them money. So I really hope that uh, this video gets around, especially to younger people. Guess what? Back in the day, enlisting in the military, I was, you know, very proud of my father. He was a soldier. My grandfather was a soldier. And they fought for, you know, mom, pop, and apple pie, and things that had to be fought for. This is not, fighting for big oil is not something we have to fight for. It is not something we have to risk our lives for. It is not something we have to sacrifice our children, their youth for. We have to stand up to big oil. Now, I'm making progress in my campaign run, so I wanted to share that with everybody. I've got a big meeting coming up. Uh, it's in Worcester, in Worcester, Mass, actually, at 901 Pleasant Street. It's uh, January 7th, and it'll be taking place at 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's going to be a dis having a discussion with the Green Party members about whether or not uh, they're going to provide um, a treasurer and as well as a slip in my mind, which is not good, a treasurer and a campaign manager. So I need these things for the campaign. Uh, you know, originally uh, they, they thought, oh, yeah, we'll provide it. Then they seem to have second thoughts about it. Uh, so now they're having a campaign meeting about it, which is fine. Uh, you know, they have a lot to take into account. But I'm looking forward to building a strong third party movement here in Massachusetts with the Green Party. Uh, make them a force to be reckoned with that can show the Republicans and Democrats here in Massachusetts that there is another choice. There is an alternative and one that really cares about the people. So hopefully they can provide me with these things. I'm going to show up to make my case about it. And I hope you will show up if uh, you just want to see me speak or you're interested in what's going on with the Green Party. Uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to have you there. I'm going to provide the link below so you can RSVP and show them that you're going to come and hear me speak and uh, hear what's going on at this meeting. So, like I said, uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us in the next couple of years fighting big oil. Uh, we're going to have to change the way we live and how we do things. Uh, the rest of the world is making serious progress. They have solar-powered bikeways, solar-powered roadways. It's just, the list goes on. Germany's going to have no more gasoline-powered cars by 2030. Uh, that's a concept here in the United States that's unheard of. And that's something that's got to change. So, if you're with me, if you're going to help me stand against big oil, I hope to see you at this meeting with the Green Party on January 7th at 9 a.m. Uh, and we'll take it from there. So, once again, this is Josh Ward running for the 2018 U.S. Senate race against Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing all your comments. And God willing, I'll hopefully see you at the meeting on uh, January 7th. So see you then. Thank you.